Hi guys, Gary here. Welcome back to the channel. Please like and subscribe. Get them numbers up. I think I'm on 65. Um, anyway, today we're going to do my um, brake calipers. I've done the driver's side last night. Um, so I'll spin the camera around in a minute and you can have a look at them. And I'll go through the process of what I did yesterday. And um, if it helps you out, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, um, so see you in two secs. So here we are, just show you all the wheels on. <coughs> so, that's all right, and I've even done the spring gloss black. Get a rear. There you go. So I did them last night. And as you can see, they look better than the other side. That's where they're standard. Although they're not too bad because when I bought the car last August, they are blown over with some a rattle can to silver. And I try to keep the car clean, so. And there's the other side. So I'll jack the car up in a minute, put it on stands, and um, give it a clean and uh, show you the score. Cheers. Right guys, so the car's jacked up now, I'll just show you. For those of you who don't know, where's the jack? I'll use that point in there. You can obviously use the ball joint, yeah. Or you can use the jacking points with the arrow here. See, there. Bloody thick fingers in the way. There, just see it, right. That's if you use a standard jack. You can still use a trolley jack on there, but, um. I'd rather do it on a flat bit, same as the axle stand on that bit there. You know, I prefer to whack it on a flat surface, but I always put the jack up just, just for extra peace of mind. So it's, it's just taking the weight and the axle stands there as well. So, okay. I hope that helps some of you out. Right, let's get off with the wheel. Right, back. <laughs> These little like wire scrubby brushes. So, again, good old eBay, you know, four quid, I think. I only used, um, well, like the wire brush and a softer brush, but I'll show you. Pretty basic, isn't it? Get a harder one. It does cover pretty well, although a couple of coats. Well, and my final coat, like I said, once I've taken all the bits again, so that'll be what three coats. So, and I bought a can of lacquer, um, which I may, um, well, it's only three quid now, it's that a bloody um, in excess, I think. So, and it's automotive, but it's not heat resistant. But does that matter? I don't know. So, I might. Do the red once I've finished and done the pads and the discs are um cry cut a lacquer. Anyway, I've been waffling on for nearly six minutes and doing that, so I'll pause it there while I uh, sort the paint out. Right, got the paint. And like I said, Ferrari red, gloss, heat resistant paint. I'm gonna show you inside red paint guys. Yeah. I'm happy with the finish of it, you know. I have had, in the past, I've used the E-Tech brake kits, which work, I don't know, 16, 17 quid, but this worked out 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so not that I'm a tight ass, but. <laughs> I also bought a set of these. It's only 199 from Home Bargains. Just good to get in there, and that's probably what I'll start.
what I'll do is I'll um, paint a bit more and come back to you. Right, after about, <laughs> I don't know, 20 minutes, I've finally given it one coat. I'm gonna get on and do the um, chain spring in a minute. Bearing in mind you're only ever going to see that side. But I'll start with the, um, the black hammerite I'm using on the spring. And I managed to do the, um, <clears throat> whole caliper with that little brush. On the other side, I used a big brush, which is a bit of a pain, but this one seemed to put it on bare. So I think I'll um, stick to that. Right, I'm just going to find a smaller brush and uh, crack on with the black. Right, guys, I'm back again, giving it a second coat. I've nearly, well, done it. <laughs> I'm using this artist brush who I bought. A Day from in excess uh, 99p for a pack. Good. I've jacked it up and all that, but at the moment, I'll take the gloves off because I've got to put the wheel back on and all that, but I'll take it off quick. Just so. Uh, So, it's a bit of improvement from what it was, isn't it? Right, see you when I do the backs, guys. Cheers. Right, guys, here we are again. Move the tripod. <laughs> here we go. That's the back one. Excuse my coffee. <coughs> Old man. And again, let's show you. And that's where the actual stands are. And the car is jacked up on jacking point. I've got like a rubber puck in there. <coughs> God, excuse me. Bloody old man, 51. Look. So there's pretty safe and secure. Um, got to use stands, guys. Anyway, oh, there's a little bit of a label blowing in the wind now, but... <coughs> and again, these discs and pads got to be changed, look. Not a lot of meat in them. And the discs are, I think they're original, so still got the Ford. Well, you can't see it on it because they spray, sprayed over it, but on the other side you can. Um, so yeah, two secs and uh, we'll clean them up again. Again, I'm going to start with a little um little flat-ended brush like i said 199 home bargains pack of 15. pretty sweet although they start off a bit a bit stiff but
Okay. See you in a minute, guys. Keep pressing the button. Just drawing it up. <clears throat> All right. In there. Not perfect. I've not done right round the back because oh, I don't see the point. What's the point? You're not going to see it. You can see this, but really, aren't you? But that'll do. I'll give it another coat. Hopefully, in an hour or so, maybe a little longer because it's a, a little bit of a run there. But I think you'll agree, it's a hell of a lot better than what it was. Um, should go with the gloss black wheels, nice. Anyway, see you soon, guys. Right, this is a really quick one, guys, because it started to drizzle a bit. This bloody sods all really, but <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, so I've had to like slap it on. Well, not slap it on, but it's on. But it will do till I give it another coat. So there we go, guys. Any questions, comments, leave them. Subscribe, please. <laughs> Get me numbers up. I've got 65 now, so I'm not doing too bad. Um, but yeah, I've got some more com uh, comments. Bloody hell. Some more content coming. Um, I'm going to obviously be changing the pads and the disc front and back on this. I'm going to be doing a how to machine polish, cut and compound. I'm going to do a how to decontaminate your vehicle properly using a clay bar. Yeah, so. <clears throat> keep your eyes peeled maybe not your ears and listen to me coughing and splattering and going but i'll try to not do that too much and the only reason why i can't be asked to turn the camera around but well there you go but so yeah keep an eye on the channel guys hopefully in the next few weeks weather depending because i've not got a garage uh, we'll see how it goes but anyway take care stay safe give us a thumbs up subscribe cheers guys stay safe cheers